members, um, a very happy Sunday morning to you all. Um, welcome back to a new week of Yoga Flows with me. Um, morning campers, uh, happy Tuesday to you all. Uh, it's like the Mondayest Tuesday of the year, isn't it? Um, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend, long weekend, and are ready for a brand new week of Yoga Flows with me uh, in my little kitchen. So today I have the delicious little flow for you. Um, we're going to be working through all of our warrior poses, so anything that's familiar with them, get prepared for a, quite a lot of leg work. Um, but they're great poses just to have in your kind of tool bank um, to pick up at any time and this would be a great little flow to do as a warm up before like a leg day workout or mix it with one of the other like stretchier videos I've done and you can get a really nice kind of 40, 45 minute um, yoga inspired workout so hop on your mat and we are going to make a start, get ready for a leg workout Coming up to the front end of your mat forward first, I want you to just find your feet knees and ankles together. Take a big breath in, think about rolling the shoulders up, back and down. Exhale, letting the palms fall forward, finding that initial little mountain pose. And then just taking a little rock back and forward on the feet, just to ground your energy here. Find yourself on your mat, take a big breath in. Exhale through the mouth, let the shoulders drop with gravity away from the ears, take a little squeeze up the thighs and into the glutes, drawing the belly button in. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up to extended mountain pose, palms together at the top, but at the same time draw the heels off the floor, squeeze up onto your tiptoes. Soften the knees and keep drawing the arches of the feet up. And then exhale, just let your shoulders fall behind you, squeeze the butt, take a baby back bend here, staying lifted through the feet, find your balance. First little bit of leg work, draw up the calves, squeeze up the quads and the kneecaps. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower, arms down. And when they touch your hips, lower the heels. Lovely, take your feet a little wider. So they're about hip width apart, and then start by taking right foot directly back behind you. So we've got a width between the feet, and we're in a nice long lunge. We're going to exhale and sink the hips down, find a 90 degrees bend in both knees. Inhale, lift the arms. Drop here into your high lunge, and think shoulders over hips, over back knee. That's the alignment, one straight line here up to your fingertips. Bending both knees to find intensity, and then we're going to open this out into warrior one. Taking your back heel, dropping it on an angle, at the same time straightening the leg. Your front knee should stay in that bend, and your pelvis and your hips should stay square on with the front end of your mat. Inhale, up the arms, up the chest. Exhale, down the hips. Lovely warrior one pose. We've got even work going through both feet. We're deep in this front knee bend to find the intensity in the thigh, but we're pushing the back heel into the floor, squeezing the back quad, and then pulling up and in through the glutes to square those hips. Stay here for one more breath. And then exhale, we're gonna find extended warrior one. First with the arms behind you. Exhale, draw them back and then create one straight line from your back heel through the hips and out through the crown of your head. Arms pull behind you to pull the shoulder blades back in together and lift your chest, hold. Inhale, pull the arms up above the head, lift the chest. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you, down the hips one more inch. Good, three more breaths here, inhale up. Finding the slowest breath you can and waving the arms with that breath. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, pull back. Keep pushing that back heel into the floor. Squeeze hard in the glutes. Last breath. And inhale. This time, come all the way up and out of there. Straight in front knee. Walk your feet all the way around to the other side. Keep them wide. Lift back heel and drop into your intense lunge. We're instantly on the other side. Isn't that magical? Pulling the pelvis in, so we're tucked in the hips, both knees bend. Aim for 90 degrees at both knees. Pull the shoulders back over this hip, breathe the arms up, hold for three breaths. Slow. We're going to get into the legs today. This is warrior one, set up. So from high lunge, exhale, pull the back kneecap up to straighten the leg. Drop that heel on an angle. Most importantly, square your hips to the front of your mat or the back of your mat now. You want to be square onto the side, breathing the chest up so the rib cage is lifting from the hips and then exhaling into the legs, pushing the feet apart on your mat to get more intensity, more active in the glutes and the hips. Exhale with me, extend. So find that length in your spine. We're not doming the chest. We're extending and pulling that straight line, that beautiful alignment, back heel to crown of the head. Inhale, lift. Keep extending the chest. Exhale, float. So your upper body and your spine position stays the same. We are waving the arms with the breath. Finding your arms as an extension from that beautiful breath coming in and out of your rib cage. You got one more time here. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale, lift all the way up. Take the chest super high. Come up onto that back toe. And step your feet together, front end of the mat. Extended mountain pose, baby back bend. Beautiful. As you let your arms come down, palms forward, back into your loving little mountain pose here, rise up onto the balls of the feet. So we step back and touch. Lifted and balanced on the balls of the feet and the tiptoes, come to diver's pose. I want you to think strong, straight spine, tip forward at the hip. So as you push your pelvis backwards, and keep a soft knee bend, pull the shoulders down and pull energy back through your fingertips. You might be able to take the fingertips higher than the chest and shoulders. Keep drawing your energy back and it's like you're teetering off the edge of the diving board. The heels are lifted and balanced, the knees are soft, we're drawing energy through the quads, through the hamstrings. Exhale, keep hinging at the hip, keep lifting at the chest. Pushing out through the crown of the head. Hold one breath in. Exhale, hips back, dive. Inhale, hold. Exhale, ground the legs and lift up tall. This time, taking left leg back again. I'm going to start on this side. I want you to step back and ground that back heel on an angle. But this time the feet are narrow. So we're wide leg. And if you drew a line from your heel straight back, it would line up with the inner part of the foot. Bend into the right knee. Square the hips this time open to the side and breathe the arms up. Find your warrior two. So difference between warrior one and warrior two is your hip alignment. Warrior one to the front, warrior two we're nice and open. Breathe the chest up and roll the shoulders back to find length through spine and midsection, and then squeeze the button down the hips. There. So the workload you're gonna feel through this front leg, we keep bending that knee, and then squeeze the button, pull the knee back. So if you look down, you can easily see inner part of the foot. Same amount of effort goes into back leg. Think push through the heel, push through the foot, squeeze the butt, squeeze the kneecap. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll it back to Sun Warrior. We go back hand to back thigh, 
or calf. Front hand both palms to the ceiling and lift up. So we get this little C shape in the spine. And we're looking up towards that palm for balance challenge. Sun warrior, lift your heart up to the sun. Exhale, extended warrior. This front arm comes over, forearm to thigh, back arm comes over the top. Find that straight line alignment. Inhale, sun warrior. Exhale, extended warrior. Stay with forearm to thigh or go a little lower, hand to calf or ankle. Twice more here, inhale up. Waving through the arms and the spine this time. Think about moving through your whole body. Keeping that fluid movement the whole time. One more go, inhale over. Exhale, lift up, find the arms wide. And through centre, we're just going to change sides by changing the feet. So realign here with straight legs for a moment. Give them a little bit of a rest. Maybe a little bit. It's Tuesday morning, we're working hard today. Left foot this time faces forward. Back heel drops on an angle. Straight line between the feet. Bend in two, opposite knee that we've just worked. Pull the hips and shoulders round so the body is square to the front. And breathe the arms up. Find the length. Stay here. I know I can't see you, but I'm gonna say you're not low enough. Inhale up the chest. Exhale down those hips, bend this front knee. That's what we wanna fire. Taking a little look at your feet. Can you squeeze your butt and pull this front knee back so we can still see inner part of the foot? Can you push harder into that back heel by finding more tension in your quad and tension in your glutes? As you squeeze the butt to tuck the hips under, you should feel lovely opening here through the pelvis and the hip flexors. Keep inhaling and lifting. Keep exhaling, checking on that depth. Don't rise out. On your next inhale breath, rotate the front palm and squeeze everything back into Sun Warrior. So we can find hand to thigh or to calf, just not directly on the back of the knee. This top arm as it comes up, take your eye gaze to the sky, take your heart space to the sky, open up and say good morning to the sun. Exhale, come through. Elbow or forearm onto the thigh, top arm reaches up and over. Just as you get there, float all the way back. Inhale to sun. Exhale to extended. How low can you go? You could stay here on the calf. You could come a little lower. Now inhale as you come to sun warrior. Think about leaving the hips, leaving the knee bend low. Exhale, go further. More bend. Should be burning up just about now. Inhale over. Exhale, roll. Beautiful work, everybody. One last time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean over. Find that depth. Squeeze the hips. Inhale, all the way to the top. Straighten both knees. Turn the feet in so they face forward. Draw the kneecaps up with straight legs. Take a little forward fold. Hinge the hips back. Find the hands to the floor, or maybe find the forearms to the floor if you make it. Just hang out in a wide leg forward fold, just to release off that tension a moment. Breathe in. Exhale. See if you can work your weight a little further back into the heels and the hips. Squeeze the kneecaps. Stretch out the hamstrings. Inhale, if you're on your forearms, lift back up onto your hands, walk them forward. Taking the weight into the hands, just heel, toe, your legs back into the centre of your mat. Turning to face the front end of the mat one more time. Bring the feet, knees and ankles together. Bend your knees and start to lift the chest and collarbones. And then as you keep bending your knees, take a little seat into our chair pose. Chest comes up, arms come overhead, knees are bent, and we're squeezing inner thighs, squeezing the hips to draw the knees, the ankles, and the feet together. Everything squeezes in, hips are back, but slightly tucked so that we're not feeling the stress in the lower back. We've got a straight
great strong spine extended to those fingertips. Now if you're here and your hands are kind of floppy, I find this one a little bit harder to get that intensity and that lift in your chest. I'm a big fan of finding your energy in your fingertips, flare them wide and then breathe them overhead. Feel how wonderful and energising that feels. Challenge on. Inhale, keep lifting the chest. Exhale, bend both knees one inch. Inhale, float your right foot one inch off the floor and stay in that left knee bend. Hold. Breathe in, hold. Exhale, sink. Breathe in, hold. Exhale one more time. Inhale, float your arms behind you, take the leg and lift it all the way up and back. Find your warrior three. Here it is. Hips are square to the floor this time. Back leg is lifted and extended. If the balance is too much for you, you can either hold on to something around the room or just pop the back toes to the floor, but try not to bring too much weight into this leg. Everybody out, we're lifted warrior three. Roll the hips so they face the floor. Breathe that energy through your fingertips. Take it back and point your toes. Beautiful. Last little wave in motion. As long as the lower back is okay with it, draw the belly button in to strengthen. Inhale, float the arms overhead. Exhale, sweep the lower back behind you. Inhale, draw them wide, squeeze everything overhead and reach. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, draw round. Using those arms as an extension of your rib cage, as we move with the breath, find the waves in the body. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, place the feet together. Exhale, chair pose. We're straight back in. There's no relief in these legs. Bend into your knees. Tuck your pelvis and draw the belly button in to strengthen your lower back. Energize those fingers. Take them to the sky. Hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sink. Inhale, left foot one inch only off the floor. Exhale, sink. Oh, it's a burning. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sink. Inhale, start to take the arms back. When they get to your hips, meet them with the leg. Draw it all back in together. Warrior three, left side, last touch. Bend your standing knee deeply. We're still in that warrior mode in the butt of the leg. So bend standing knee, fingers back. Squeeze the butt, point the toes, lift that foot higher if you can. Keep a long, strong chest. We're not dome towards the floor. Now inhale, draw the hands around. Exhale, sweep back. Find more energy in this breath now. Find more drama. Two more. Inhale, reach. Extend the chest. Exhale, bend standing knee. Come on. Exhale, go back. Inhale, meet the feet together. Inhale, rise up tall. Hands together. Overhead, squeeze the butt, drop the shoulders, baby back bend, extended mountain pose. Exhale, lower all the way back down. Exhale, take one foot behind the other. Take a little seat on the floor. Wow, super work everybody. Let's just take one little forward fold just to stretch out that work in the hamstrings, the legs and the glutes. Squaring your hips onto the floor. Just roll your sit bones out behind you. How do your legs feel? Take a moment just to enjoy that. Enjoy that strength you've made here. And then either, if your hamstrings are feeling particularly tight, you can take a little knee bend like this. If you can lengthen them, then do. And I just want you to gently walk your hands down the legs. See where they land. It might be on your shins today. It might be on your ankles. If you get there, you might be able to wrap the hands around the side of the feet. You just exhale for four lovely last deep breaths here. Maybe close the eyes if it feels right for you. Just let the head go super heavy. Let the neck, let the shoulders relax. Let the gravity of your chest falling down. Just stretch and bring some release to your lower 
lower back, right into that crest of the top of their hips. You might feel this one right down the hamstrings. Inhale, see if you can push your chest forward, find a little bit of strength. Exhale, see if you can walk your hands further down the shins around the feet. Lower the chest one more time. Fall a little deeper into that stretch. Allow your heart rate to come down. See how that one got you really warm from the inside out. Found some heat in those legs today. Inhale, slowly walk or draw the hands back up the legs. Give them a little shake out. Give yourselves a little mini round of applause if you're at home. That was super. What an epic start to the week. What a strong start to the week. Um, give yourselves a little pat on the back. As I said, if you want to mix that one in, go straight out into uh, one of my more stretchy flows or a guided meditation. That's going to be a beautiful workout for you. Um, or if you've just done that, my God, that's a strong workout to be doing at home today. So give yourselves a little round of applause. Maybe treat yourself with another Easter egg. I don't know. <laughs> if you've even got any left. Um, and otherwise, have a wonderful day. Mwah. Sending you all my good vibes, all my love and energy um, out to everybody. Um, I hope you're doing well and I will see you tomorrow. Stay strong. Take care. Bye.